Welcome to Two Point Campus. My name is Nilaus and I will be your guide on this wondrous world of university campus management. Two Point Campus is a new game that released yesterday on PC, PlayStation, Xbox and Switch. It is a management simulation game focused on the development of a university campus. I'll be uh, showcasing the first university that we get available and completing this as perfectly as possible. Two Point Campus is a spiritual successor to Two Point Hospital, which I unfortunately never played, so I will have been keeping my eye on this uh, game until the release. Luckily, uh, Two Point Studios, they asked me to do a sponsored video and stream, so uh, I was very lucky to get that. And with these kind of sponsorships, it's important to state for me that these are my own opinions, and the sponsorship is for me to showcase it on my channel, not for uh, listing specific opinions. Obviously, I would not take a sponsorship for a game that I don't think that it would be interesting, so uh, this fits perfectly for me. If you're interested in this game, then check out the link in the description and comments below. And of course, if you like this kind of video, this kind of showcase, uh, either the game or the showcases in general, then hit the like button to show me and show the YouTube algorithm that you want to see more of the same thing. And of course, if you want to see more, then a good idea is to uh, subscribe to the channel so you keep updated with new stuff that's coming out. Let's dive into the game. And we are starting here with a nice aerial view of our little hamlet or little town where we have decided to build our first campus. And as you can see, there's a lot of empty purple flooring uh, to, to use in our base. First thing we need to do is, well, get the first mission. And uh, here we have the university. The, well, the first day of school is approaching. Welcome to Freshly Meadows, where life moves slowly and expectations are lowly. The two point the countryside is the perfect place to start your career, learn the ropes make mistakes and hit the ground smiling. So we'll need to do science photography and we will get 10 students on board. Now uh, with this said, uh, we will be starting by making a science lab inside our base because we already have a lecture hall. So the way that it works uh, also in the whole of this series, I will be showing this, but a lot of the game is actually taking place in building these kind of rooms. So I'll be sort of uh, generally after we built the first one, we'll be fast forwarding through the build phase and then focusing on uh, sort of the progression of the, the story and the base here. Uh, what we're building here is a number of different things that are needed. You can see up in the top right below it says science lab. There is this, uh, there is a indicator with the prestige of this particular room. The higher prestige, the better the learning it's going on. So just putting a little potted plant, it'll be good. We got a level three and that's a good place to start. Now, well, if we have a science lab, but we're not going to get anywhere without actually having a teacher to teach us, teach in this year. Uh, we have someone who is also, aside from being a teacher, is also an inspirational teacher, mentor. So we are now ready to start the academic year. We have a lecture hall, a science lab, and we have a, someone to teach. So let's get the first students coming in. Welcome to the campus. And yes, we have a class clown as well. And we also have a goth hiding behind some more regular dude. That is a university campus <laughs> as it is. So they will go in and uh, what the first thing they need to do is complete the the science class, science photography. So they are coming in here. They are just being listening to our teacher. I, I do like these small animation and it's something you can sort of get lost in during the game. Just sitting there watching the animations. And as we go here, they'll be experimenting and working. And we just completed the first class here. Down at the bottom of the screen, you can see the calendar year. And uh, that's the, prog the, the progress of the year. The blue indicate where the classes and the white indicate where there are no classes. So we can see here, if we follow one of the students, they have a lot of different needs and wants, and it gets pretty overwhelming. But uh, we'll see, they have energy, they have healthiness, they have food, they have drinking, and they have uh, toilet needs, and they have hygiene, and they have entertainment. Then on the environment, that's where they are right now, whether it's attractive and uh, a prestigious and also uh, the temperature. Then we have accommodation, we have personal goals, we have clubs, we have relationships, and we have the actual tuition fees. So that's a lot of different things that we need to keep uh, keep an eye on. But the game is really good at highlighting, as you can see here. Now there's a uh, no lightning, and then we can see that there are uh, they have no energy, and that means they need somewhere to rest and recuperate. And that's where we need to build a dorm for them. So every month, you can see we get a monthly profit. It will get an XP bonus if the if the students are happy, and therefore we uh, we want to keep them happy and kind of get all the needs met. So we get an XP bonus, which makes means we make more money. 
So what I want to build here is a big dorm, but we can house a lot of students. We'll also get rent from uh, from the dorm. Yes, everything that is uh, making money here. And then while we are building, then we're just going to be fast forwarding so we can see the actual build process, but we don't need to go uh, into detail because there is a lot of clicking here. Uh, I'm going to build a lot of things here. Uh, there are some things that are necessary. Each bed can house five students. I don't know, but that's just how it is. So we got a, a, a dormitory. And they're coming in here and the potted plant is just there to help on the prestige. There's some tables to work to burn the midnight oil and we have some cabinets as well. We're going to be building a bathroom as well as also a shower room as well. We'll build that in the shower room uh, right next to it. Here we go. So we now have a bathroom and shower room. They are quite simple. And now we need also to have something to eat because this is about sort of getting the basic needs done. They will be hygienic. They'll have their the inputs and outputs managed. Now we've done with outputs and now we also here with the inputs. It also helps add more prestige to the building itself. It got just got to a level six. And what we then need to do or want to do is make these tables. These will help them sort of build relationship by sitting next to each other and talking. And of course, they're never sitting next to each other. Typical. That's how it worked, right? You take one table each and then only when they're full, you take the next part. Here we have some... Uh, just a fountain of knowledge yeah it is what it is it's it's just uh, to get more prestige in this uh, location uh, what we do need is a janitor to actually help on cleaning up because uh, well there's a lot of, of junk here and there we'll be putting them in here and then we'll be making waste bins if they're waste bins then sometimes they'll actually use the waste bins but most of the time they won't uh, let's have a look at the economy part of it and we also now have uh, access to our inbox uh, where we can take a look at how the economy works. Um, and this is also where they will send missions to us. And basically these students will have requests. They want a library and uh, that is, well, that's fair enough. All 10 of them want a library. So let's build that here. There's a number of different things. A checkout desk, we put a sanitizer um, because COVID and we have a trash can and we have some bookcases because well, without bookcases, it wouldn't be much of a, uh, much of a library there we go level five library coming up but the library doesn't work without having an assistant so let's uh, get an assistant inbound here and let's take someone who is good at learning so we get a little boost to that uh, also someone who's extra fast they make they cost a bit more but hey it's worth it we want the best for our students so we have an assistant and we can see all the people here running in here and starting to do sort of some library assignments which will help them get better grades in classes and they will also level up getting xp which will again be a good way for us to uh, to get more more money of it there we go they have now completed their assignments and you can see there's some a popping up so our general level is now increasing up to B level in uh, in academic achievements. Here in our in our inbox, you can see that there are certain requests. Uh, and for example, they want a park bench. So I mean, sure, they cost a hundred university two point dollars each. So we'll uh, we'll build that no problem. And here we have our financial statement every month: tuition fees, rent, bonus, and wages. Those are the inputs and outputs that we need to to deal with. So now we are getting them completed on our assignment and uh, we can then sort of, we now have the essence of it. We educate, we nurture, and we expand our facility. That is the objective. Then we'll be uh, introducing to a new currency, a special currency called Kudosh, Kudosh and uh, that is basically basically for buying sort of rare items and this is a currency that persists from university to university so it allows you to unlock material unlock new buildings that you can then use and you'll choose them wisely on what you'd want to build uh, i think we'll build this water cooler because it actually helps on getting conversation started and it also helps with the sort of the drinking situation well, drinking situation sounds like something else but it uh, we've, we've just put a few of these down and they'll just help a bit more. We also now unlocked a staff room, which is uh, also something, one of the next things we want to do. Uh, we can see over on the right hand side what our objectives are at the current moment. We need to finish the first year and we need to uh, to get to build some facilities. And the students want a lounge. The student want a lounge, yeah. And the staff want a room. They, everyone wants something, right? So uh, we built a student lounge first and we will be building a door in on either side. We'll build some 
inventory here, all of this is increasing the prestige. Basically, this is what we want to do, just build prestige and build some things that also are working for entertainment, so they are entertained, but also some things such as making food here in as well. And then we have a level seven lounge. That's very nice and it gets us started on that. We see people coming in here, just playing some darts and just uh, having a good time. That uh, counts as entertainment, which should make them just generally happiness increase their happiness, more happiness, and they will perform better. And we can see entertainment. It's not much for entertainment, but hey, it's something. And now uh, we need to look at the next things. So we need to employ additional staff and we need to build a staff room. So let's uh, try to see if we can find a good place. Is a good place for a staff room. And we can then uh, build that. Uh, this is where the teachers hang out when they are done with the when they need a break from the students. So let's build that. And we built all the usual things, the sanitizer and the trash bin, and then some places to hang out. For some reason, they you're not allowed to hang posters on the wall here, but you can have dots, uh, that's fine. Uh, we don't need that much more in here, but just a few things. Uh, we just wanna get it to a level five. There we go, that is now a level five staff room, and uh, that should be good. Nothing much is happening in there, but uh, it's a good start. So average staff happiness, it's 62. That should increase when, uh, now that we have a staff room, we are also gonna get another janitor because you know, we just need a few janitors and we get another assistant. Yeah, that's a good assistant. So now we have the five thing and we then get some, a new, new uh, task to do keep the average assessment score above 70. That is not a problem. And then we need to do some personal tasks. This is just something that sometimes happens. You need to facilitate it for the students and they will then do their personal task. We also need to build personal relationships. Here we go. There is another one whose personal goal is to cheer for someone not playing darts. I mean, students, but we have that one. The de development to best friends is really difficult because um, you need them to have free time, meet each other, have a location and uh, find a way that they haven't. So it's kind of rare and it's just some one of those things that we'll, uh, we'll try to get it as much as possible. We don't have a lot of time left on the calendar year or not the calendar year, this student year. So what we could do is just trying to force it by maybe uh, making something that they will be happy about, this car booth. Yeah, uh, it costs some of these uh, kudos and this 57 Bel Air, 57 Chevy Bel Air. Although I'm not sure about the front, if you look at it, and I'm not sure that it's uh, the correct Bel Air front, but you know, I'm sure that some people know more about it than I do. This is uh, basically looking at the lecture and you can see as we get second year students plus a new batch of first year students, it'll be uh, overcrowded in our lecture halls. We can also take a look at our staff and see what how they're doing. Uh, one is very low on energy, and all of our students, what they're how they're doing. We can see if someone is really falling behind academically, or just unhappy, or had low energy, and then we can sort of try to address that um, by by just general seeing looking at general trends. At this point, we really want them to be friends. So here they are becoming friends. Yeah, meet up with friend. They are now friendly, but they are not best friends, unfortunately. So that's, uh, we're just desperately trying to see it. You can also see our monthly profit is not that great. Here we go, more friendlies, uh, meet up with friends, and no. Uh, our, we have a five staff, which is a bit much for only having 10 students. So not surprisingly, we are not making a lot of money for from this. Uh, we will just uh, be finishing the academic year, and then it's sort of, the game sort of transitions into another phase. Right now. There we go, end of year. So we get some awards for the end of the year. We also luckily got a bit of money. So we'll be going through the awards here. Uh, we got a 100% pass rate on our task here. We got excellent academic uh, uh, performance and average of A, that's pretty good. Average room is prestige is five, that's pretty good. So we got three awards here, super nice. There are apparently 10. Uh, that's going to take a while to uh, to get all of those, uh, but that is great. So now we are sort of between years. This is the summer break. So the summer break, what we need to do is first we need to set up additional courses so that we are ready for the next year. Now we can, we will of course continue the course that we already have, but then we'll be uh, look getting the new called virtual normality course in here, which you can see that what kind of people it attracts. You can see what kind of buildings it requires, uh, what kind of uh, amenities, these are the kind of courses that are offered, and we'll be starting this course. 
um, end as we completed here. Uh, actually, I think we'll go back here and uh, take a look at here. So we have an option to lower the tuition fee. And if you lower it by 15%, then they'll be happy, 6% more happy. This will also mean that more people will uh, apply. And if we then lower the amount of, of people we take in, then we only take up the best students. So by lowering the tuition fee and lowering the student intake back to sort of the normalized number 10, then we are actually getting a pretty, uh, pretty good uh, we're getting better students on board and better students gives more XP, get faster learning. And that's what I do. And I don't want to be charging too much for uh, for education, actually, preferably not charging anything. But since we have a new course and we have both first and second year students uh, after the summer break, we need to get more space for our factory. Oops, uh, our factory producing students. That's called a university. But, you know, it's a factory, right? And uh, here it's now ready. And what we need to do uh, first is make a new VR lab. This is a new a new building that we uh, we have available. It's uh, it's like the science lab. It's just for our virtual normality courses. And you'll have some different uh, VR chairs, VR desks, and uh, VR hologram things. There we go. Level five uh, up, up and running. And we also do need, you can see up on the campus requirements, we need another lecture theater. So let's build another one of these lecture theaters right here. Uh, this is going to be pretty simple. Uh, it's going to be a bit difficult for us to keep a high prestige in this room. You can see it's only two because it's a small room. Uh, we'll throw that window away and make a bigger window. Just desperately trying to get up to level three. There we go. We bought a poster just to put in and that poster will need to go on every room. Posters are absolutely amazing to uh, upgrade, uh, to upgrade prestige. So what I'm doing here is making sure that each of the lecture rooms is only teaching one thing so that the lecture room closest to the VR lab is teaching virtual normality and the teaching room, the lecture room close to the other one is uh, uh, is only teaching uh, scientography. And then we can uh, use this uh, function here and we can actually copy an entire room so you can make templates. Really nice because uh, building stuff like bathrooms and washrooms, that kind of thing is a bit uh, annoying <laughs> to be honest. But uh, if we just do this, then we suddenly have the template built one more time. Of course, you need to sort of get a sense of uh, how big it needs to be. So we get another shower room and another uh, bathroom. Funny is the bathroom doesn't have a bath. Hmm. And we are then uh, getting ready. Now we need some, a few more teachers who can actually teach the new courses. So we need one virtual normality teacher and we need one more teacher for scientography. Once we have those, that's a bit more expensive. We'll just dump you in the lecture hall. So we're now ready to start the next academic year and we'll have a mass of students rolling in immediately as we start this. Start the next year. Let's go. So now we have uh, the one star. Okay, we have a few things. They want a two player arcade table and they want the Gothic bookcase. They're just, these are basically where we, we're going to be using a lot of things is, is using this kudosh on building things that they request for us. And uh, the bookcase as well, we we'll also get a bookcase that can also be put in into this location. There, and then they, it just increased to a level eight room and level seven campus in total. That gives us some kudos that we get at the end of the mission. Uh, here is the one star. This is basically the objective. Once we unlock one star, then we uh, we will be uh, will be enabling the next university location. This is our schedule. You can see that we do need uh, several different lecture halls and science labs and a vir virtual lab as well. And here we have all the students uh, joining in for our new university coming on in. And that's a lot more people coming in. <laughs> Lots of job for janitors. No surprise when we have all of that. Here we have the virtual reality lab where they are just working. And that is uh, our last part of the one star is completing the virtual reality class with a grade C. That just means someone has to pass it. And as we do that, we get one star achievement. We unlock a Piazza La Natra. That is a new campus. So at this point, we don't have to play anymore on this location. We unlock, also unlock some kiosks and a whale fountain and a monstrous amount of uh, kudosh. So we can either continue this map or we can go back to the overall map. If we go back to the map, it, uh, it still saves the original. And we can see this uh, location, so we can just take a peek at it. You can start on another one. Here we have the Freshly Meadows where we are playing. We have one uh, and we also have the other one here that we can then start up, which is probably a bit more difficult. 
and have a bit more uh, advanced features. Well, it is, I've, tried, I've played it. There are a number of extra features uh, involved there. But we go back here and you can see we start, we start back up exactly where we left off. So this is a, a cool way that you can sort of have multiple games running at any given time. And here. So we are just following our students happily. Uh, this is the two star will be now the next part. We need to increase our campus. We need to earn money. We need to keep the dormitory rating above 70. That's not a big deal. And we need to satisfy 10 personal goal, goals. We have these uh, new buildings that we uh, just unlocked. So let's uh, these kiosks, they give a uh, better food quality. So uh, that's, uh, that's pretty good. There's also a Scientography Open Day, which is a, a some kind of random special event. And if the, there will be three students coming in, and uh, if you do well, if they have a nice campus, then there will be more people signing up at the next uh, next year. So you can see these will require some assistance. So let's uh, hire another assistant to man these. Uh, let's get someone who is uh, happy. This is probably have more important to be happy when you're on a in a hot dog stand than it is to be a good teacher. Let's also throw in an extra an extra janitor because we absolutely need that. Uh, there's a huge mess everywhere. So let's keep that, uh, keep it nice and tidy. These are the students that are in here for reviews, the evaluation process. And uh, I've only seen it since this is a nice location. I've only seen that they come in here with two of them applicants. So they are happy. And our financial statement, we can see that we're actually making 13,000 every month. So uh, with more students, we are making, uh, making bank here. That is very nice. We've satisfied the one of those personal goals and we are still working our way towards level eight. Um, and we have then more things coming in and they just want a love trumpet. Sure, I'll buy you a love trumpet with 50 kudosh and place it. So this is a, again, one of those things that just sometimes they, these pop up and uh, you can choose to build them or not. And when you unlock something with kudosh, you also have it for the next, for the next, uh, mission. This developed roman romance from sweethearts to something something. And now we are back here. We've got our campus level eight upgraded and uh, let's add some more uh, locations. For example, a new library. Uh, the previous one was kind of getting a bit congested. So let's build a library. It's kind of the same thing you need to put in the other library, but it has a different shape. So I have to rebuild it manually. It's kind of one of those things where you can either put a lot of effort into it and make it really nice and aesthetic, or you can put well, less effort into it and just make it work. Uh, let's throw that one out and they'll get the bookcase. So that is level five, library number two. And I will then mark this as not for Scientography and I'll mark the other one as not for virtual normality. So again, trying to keep things in one place. Uh, this also is a good, let's uh, get a teacher. Ooh, look at that. We get some good, some good teachers here. They get plus five. There's actually another one that has more, but they are also too expensive. So let's get that one in. Uh, what uh, here it's it's basically if we get those with the uh, posters then absolutely do that for posters posters are amazing uh, they don't really cost anything they can be put in almost every room and they just as you can see here they just upgrade the quality of the room so uh, get as many posters as you like that's a nice little tip for increasing the attractiveness and uh, prestige of each room here is another one who is about to complete their personal task is sleeping Great, I like that personal task. And uh, then we have two personal tasks completed. So we'll be slowly, the money will be happening by itself. And here we got a setup here that we have achieved some internal, let's say achievements. And uh, by having 100 Scientography students, we can claim the reward and then get 10 of those achievement points. And then the next one is 1000 students. And you can see there are different ones for how much kudos we've earned, how much money we've earned, how much um, friendships, relationships, uh, diff all the different things. And those will just accrue gradually and give us some, uh, some kudos that we can use for buying more things. We continue the expansion of here in our new building and we'll be expanding it by building another dorm. Uh, again, the dorm is in a different shape. So we'll kind of have to build the whole thing again and build there, get some cupboards and get some, yeah, get some of everything. Just seeing if we can get it up to, uh, it's now level six, happy level six dormitory. That is great. And we now have getting closer on the personal goals. And here we have like a lot of, lot of different things that are happening. Uh, we can unlock a smoothie kiosk. 
Sure, let's let's get one of those somewhere. Uh, we gotta get one. We'll put it out here. A smoothie kiosk outside is probably good. Right outside the main gate. That's fine. Uh, let's get another assistant to actually help us attend this smoothie kiosk. There we go. That means we are actually paying a lot of money for it. Another one, a meat wizard machine. That is just a gaming machine. This counts as entertainment, so it can be in the hallways or it can be in the entertainment area. Here in the student lounge is a good place to have it, but it cannot be in the, the dormitory. It counts as entertainment. Good. We'll copy it. It can't be here, as you can see. Not in the dormitory. That's for sleeping. But in the hallways and in our... Yeah. We also need to build a new student lounge over here. Over by the other part. Anything else? Need a sign station that costs 15 kudosh. And uh, those, those ones that are purple here are something that benefits the teaching. So for example, this would give like a plus two or four percent or something like that to to this the teaching. And science photography and our profit is fourteen thousand and we get another lab work, a thermal desk. Sure we'll get one of those as well. And we just throw them in here. And you can see the science lab has now increased to a level five prestige. We have nine out of ten personal uh, personal goals and that means we are just about to complete this two star rating for this uh, this scene. And that should be coming up pretty close, pretty soon. There we go. And we've now two stars. We get a bath time statue. Yeah, sure. 20,000 money and 150 kudosh. So that's great. We can then sort of leave it. But now we have level three, which gets a lot more complicated. We need 10 A grade classes. We need a average happiness score. That's not a problem. And we need to graduate students. That's only after the end of the third year. We are only in the second year right now. Uh, so that's something that's going to happen uh, in, in quite a while. And then the last one, is the top one, is upgrade a course to level 4, which is super complicated. Uh, so here, for example, we can look at how many are actually on first year, how many are second year, they need to be on third year, and when they complete the third year, they graduate, and that's the 10 graduates we need to complete that 3-star. So there's going to be a lot of work on uh, this uh, going forward. But truth be told, a lot of it is all sort of where you have lots of room to sort of tinker with what you want and make your base just a little bit nicer, uh, such as adding another student lounge that we just add with all sorts of amenities that we could possibly want for our students. Damn, those students are spoiled. It's, that That's not how my university looked like. I can tell you that. Uh, it was certainly not paid for by the university. Then again, I didn't pay for it. So that's maybe maybe something. And here we are getting some A students. Look at that. There was an A student. We are up to six class A students. We are generally our average level of achievement is A. That's pretty damn good. And you can see more things are coming in. A fancy hat stand. I will happily give you a fancy hat stand and I will put in here. Oh, the dormitory upgraded. That's nice. And let's uh, see where else we can build fancy hat stands. Hey, it's uh, it might be worth it. It's, it's just basically... In increasing it and we see someone who is actually attending the hat stand right now oh look how happy he is and he's a uh, big tipper those and there we go a tip of five hundred dollars to uh, our university for building a five hundred dollar hat stand Psh. a crazy tax crazy taxi machine for 250 kudos it's super good but 250 kudos is all of it we'd rather complete more assignments than uh, complete this single one so what i'd like to do is we'll reject that we don't want to do that because that'll take basically all of our kudos and we want to make sure that we can sort of do more stuff in this space and what happens is now that this is the end of the year end of the second year and we have now see again 100% pass. We got the uh, average score of A, that's nice. Uh, we got average room prestige of six, that's great, and a pass rate. So again, three achievements, eh, it's all right, or three awards. And now we're sort of between sessions again in terms of sort of between courses. What we're going to do is uh, we're actually going to. This is what it would be expected that you upgrade both of the courses to level two. But I'm actually going to upgrade one of the courses to level three, the scientography, because then after this le this. Uh, academic year, I can upgrade it to level four and complete it at that point. Again, we are going to uh, keep our tuition fees 15% lower and then have only the top 77% of the students. That's why they're all the way up to 110%. The reason why we have 26 applicants is because we have some people coming in here uh, for just having a look at it uh, at our university. And they are they will then chose to attend the university here. 
So we will confirm, we'll have a virtual normality and we will have a Scientography class next year, but the Scientography class will be much higher. So you can see over on the campus requirements, we need to build lecture theaters, science hall, VR labs, and get, hire some more teachers as well. So the first thing we want to do is get more space. So we'll buy this building with housing on it. Uh, that's gonna take a bit of time, but in the meantime, there are a number of things we want to do. For example, build a new, uh, build a new lecture hall in this corner, or we also need a science lab as well. So we can build a little lecture hall in the corner. It's gonna be difficult to get it to be as good as possible, but those uh, posters everywhere are really gonna help to boost, boost it. You can see here, we're up to level three and a half. Can we get further? Uh, no, unfortunately not. We'll just have to make you with level three. And then also we should be building another science lab because we both have now first year students and second year students and now we'll get third year students and that can only fit in if we have two science labs working simultaneously so we'll definitely need to build another science lab over here and there's luckily quite a bit of room for it so let's uh, build it like this that seems like a good location and what we'll do is we will move the stuff that's in the way the coffee maker and then we'll be filling this in with all of the usual stuff uh, just to get it as good as possible. And we're up to level three, up to level four now, and throw in some more stuff and also some posters on the wall. Look at that, level five, level six. We got a level six science lab, just like that. Pretty good. So now we need another VR lab. Uh, the thing is we can act we actually want to copy or actually pick it up. You can pick up an entire room, which I think is super nice. You can copy rooms and pick them up. So we can actually pick up this room and say, you know what, we'll actually build it over here because we want to make our virtual uh, build this location as our virtual, um, what's it called? Virtual normality class, our extra one here. So we need a VR lab next to it. VR lab will be built next, next to it. Looking like this. And we'll just fill in with all the stuff that are necessary for a proper VR lab. And again, monitoring the prestige. We want to get level five. We want to get all the way up to level six. That's level six. And then I accidentally made a little mistake. We're back up to level six. That's all good. There. That's a level six lab. And we our campus leveled up to level 11. So at this point, we just need to hire some teachers. And then, you know, there are a few more things that we want to, want to do. Um, these lecture halls are actually set as virtual normality. And if I set this one to only do the VR, then I'm actually needing an extra one that's dedicated to an extra lecture hall dedicated to science, scientography. So I'm actually keeping them separate. So keeping this room, uh, the main building here for science, scientography and uh, with two lecture halls and two science labs to minimize the travel distance. And we'll, we'll hire some teachers to throw them in there and get over to the new location. So this area is not great at this point. Hmm. Uh, it definitely needs something, but that's, uh, we'll, we'll just get that. I know there are better teachers, but it doesn't really matter that much. Um, there, we can also take a really good one here. That has a better teaching rate. So there we go. And also more expensive. So now we basically need to build a few things. Uh, we can see that there was a little icon there that means that the, uh, student lounge was actually actually overfilled and we'll just copy the student lounge with all the amenities into the new location that is a level eight student lounge super nice that's done we probably need dormitories and we need uh, some and uh, there let's build a dormitory here for more students i could set this dormitory as being exclusively to students who are studying the vr uh, virtual normality but I don't know if that really makes a big difference. And then get posters on the walls and just be happy. And then we need also, of course, a bathroom or a shower room there. Good. And then we probably need some amenities between the sessions. We actually have, because of the things we've done in the meantime, we've actually managed to accrue extra course points. That's really nice that we, uh, we get some extra course points. So at this point, you can see we have 25 course points available. Well, why not just upgrade the VR, uh, the virtual normality to an extra high level here? I think that's a that's a pretty decent idea, uh, but I think we don't want to get more. So if we lower that down to the 10, then we get really high quality students here. Our tuition is low and 
Well, that's just because I want low tuition here, and uh, that is a pretty good place for us to to go. So let's um, let's start the next year. We have a level three scientography and a level two virtual normality. Let's start the new year and see the rush of new students coming in as we work the way towards uh, completing the grade A students. That should be easy. Students graduate, that's only at the end of the year and then upgrade the course to level four, which is even after the year. So this is our lecture hall plan. Uh, the thing is you could see that three lecture halls without prioritization could work for all of it, but I prefer this way to minimize the travel distance. Here comes the bus full of students that will be happily joining our university. At this point, since we now have first year, second year and third year students, then why do they come out of the bus peeing? Well, that's actually kind of usual that you come out of the a long bus ride and just have to rush to the toilet. That's just the way it is. Our money per side is really nice, 17,000 in revenue. We're getting a lot more from tuition fees. They want a Scientography open day, that's good. That will give us more for next year. And Scientography bookcase, uh, again, the purple ones are something that will, it's expensive, but it gives us a bookcase that will uh, sort of improve the quality of the education for a Scientography. Maybe only two or 4%, but hey, everything counts. And this is an elite university. So let's get that sorted as well. And we have more things. They want more player tables. And we'll just keep burning kudos just to get them uh, be get them happy, these damn students here. Just keep them happy. I mean, I would not be studying a lot if I was uh, if I had this many amenities available to me. So there is that. Now they should be happy, right? They should be happy. And let's see if we can get some more. A, uh, a students here. We have six A students uh, currently and goodbye. Thank you for the class. Let's see if we can get some good students here. And this clown is still standing there, not really figuring out how this works. We got a lot of A students, except we also have an F student. That's the clown. Uh, maybe. I don't really get it because uh, it could also be the guy in the toilet that, <laughs> that just missed the class. Uh, we have our whale statue out here and we're just basically monitoring what's happening. We got our personal goals in the career hub. We can go up here, claim some more. That's great. We'll get uh, more of these points. You can see we've already completed quite a lot of these. This is how we generate continuous kudos. And there's lots of great of A students coming around here. And we're almost at the end of the end of the year end of the academic year. And as that happens, the 10 students from the first year will graduate and that will be our objective. So even if one of them failed, we would have failed the entire mission at this year. But nope, no one's failing. So just look at this beautiful location. The academic year is over. We got everything except for the upgrade the course for next year. We'll be looking at the awards first. What do we get? 100% pass rate and average exam result is 89. I like that it's the average that's 89. Uh, here we go. That's A is the average. That's very nice. And we got 77 total relationships. That's pretty good. King of Hearts. And campus of the year with a high uh, prestige and attractiveness rating. So four awards here. Very nice. And 10 people graduated. Now, if I manage to course, set this up to level four, then like that, we get three star achievement without even starting next. This is now completed. We have done everything that we can possibly do at this, uh, at this level. And then I can go to the map, save and exit. And we'll just go back. And then from here, we can then go into the next location, the Piazza Lanatra. And we've now completed this. You can continue to play if you like, but there isn't really anything more you can achieve. Uh, you can probably, the money will stay in that area. So you can do it for your own sake, but generally sort of the progression of the game is that it unlocks the next area. And that is basically how we get the three star for the first, for uh, the first uh, university. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to hit the like button. And again, thank you to Two Point Studios for sponsoring this video. And thank you everyone for watching all the way to the end. Until next time, take care and stay effective.